is TOS Television, your digital force for an African news network. I am Abigail Okmade and this is Africa Now. Six women and nine children in Nigeria's northeast state that had been kidnapped several months ago managed to gain freedom from Boko Haram captivity after walking for six days in the bush. The 15 hostages were kidnapped separately from farming communities in Borno State's Chibok district. Three of the hostages, along with their five children, were seized during a raid in Takulashi in October last year, while the other three, with their four children, were abducted from Kofure in May, according to Zue Ragambo, Borno Women Affairs Commission. Mozambique's police said on Monday that they had killed Mariano Inyongo, the leader of Renamo military junta and armed wing of a breakaway faction of the main opposition group. General Commander of Police Bernardino Rafael said Inyongo was killed early in the morning in fighting between the defense and security forces and the insurgents in Sofola province. The government claims that the armed group is responsible for several attacks and killings of civilians, plundering of property, looting and arson in the central part of of the country in the last few years. Zimbabwean opposition leader Nelson Chamisa's convoy was attacked with burning logs at a village in southeastern Mazvingo province on Monday, his party, the MDC Alliance, tweeted. Members of his entourage were taken to hospital after being badly injured in the attack by higher thugs, the tweet adds. Ruling ZANU PF party has been blamed for the action. Coordinated attacks using artillery, tanks, jets and drones on all fronts against forces from northern Tigray region has been launched by the Ethiopian army, the rebels said. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed spokeswoman Bileni Sayom said the government has a responsibility to protect its citizens across the country from acts of terrorism. She gave no further details. The Ethiopian army took control of most of Tigray in November last year after the Tigray's People's Liberation Front forces declared the terrorist organization organization backed by Eritrean troops seized a military base. The 11-month conflict has led to the death of thousands of people and another 2 million have been forced to flee their homes. And moving away from security matters to politics, a new government in Tunisia was unveiled by President Kais Saeed after a new government on Monday, two months after his seizure of almost total power attacked a coup. He, however, gave no hint on when he will hand over his near total control of powers or start reforms needed for a financial rescue package to avert economic disaster. Several of the main cabinet members were already serving Saeed in an interim capacity, while the new interior minister is one of his dependable allies. Allies. Meanwhile, UGTT, the major labor union in Tunisia, has welcomed the formation of a new government and has urged the president to set a time limit on how long emergency powers will be in place. This is your digital force for African news network, TOS Television. You are watching Africa Now, business story and more coming your way after the break. Do stay tuned. Welcome back in business. South Sudan's transitional unity government has approved 100 million US dollars to settle outstanding debts owed to its foreign missions since 2015 when it decided to shut down some of them. Michael Mukwe Lewis, Minister of Information and Broadcasting, said the Ministry of Finance has been directed to release the cash to settle the debt, adding that the youngest nation of the world is losing membership in various international organizations over the same time. In 2015, the country was forced to down size the number of its diplomats due to a financial crunch caused by the more than six years of conflict since the outbreak in December of 2013. Away from business, Uganda's National Public Prosecution Authority has started publishing the names of people who were convicted of sex offences in a move that has received wide support from rights activists. The first list of 322 criminals, 315 males and 7 females with varying jail terms was released on October 11. The naming and shaming of sex offenders carried out for the first time by prosecution is designed to fight these crimes which are largely dominated by defilement and rape. 
the treason case that has been slapped against former four-time presidential candidate Dr. Kiza Bizyege for allegedly swearing in himself as the president following the disputed 2016 polls has been discounted. The treason charges arose after a video clip of the alleged swearing-in went viral on social media on May 11, 2016, on the eve of President Museveni swearing-in for the fifth elective term in office. Director of Public Prosecutions attributed the delays in concluding the investigations to uncooperative witnesses who allegedly attended his swearing-in but refused to record statements with the police. Not less than 1.3 million Nigerian adolescent girls dropped out of schools before completing their junior secondary schools annually, the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, revealed on Monday. According to UNICEF, adolescent girls are particularly vulnerable to societal dynamics that limit their transition from primary to secondary. It adds that the education systems in Nigeria have also limited capacity to support girls' access to secondary education. The African Union says it wants to partner with the United Nations in a proposed joint mission to support Somalia in its effort to battle armed extremists and achieve stability. In a statement, the African Union's Peace and Security Council said it endorsed an independent assessment team's recommendation for a hybrid operation that will replace the African Union mission in Somalia after this year. Since 2007, the regional peacekeeping mission, which operates with UN approval, has aided Somali government forces in their battle to stabilize the Horn of Africa country, mainly against Al-Shabaab militants. And that is Africa Now. For more updates, to visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube to stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Okwande. Thanks for watching.